As we look back across a cross-country day here at the FEI Classics leg of the Mitsubishi Motors Badminton Horse Trials, we think of the terms we use a lot, an influential cross-country day, not a dressage competition, and they pale into insignificance. We have been using them wrongly before. The scoreboard behind me tells the tale of cross-country day at the 2014 Mitsubishi Motors Badminton Horse Trials, a day that saw so many have problems, even those with two rides. Tim Price is in second place. He moved up from 41st after dressage. He had to retire Wesco after a fall on course as his second ride. It's just simply unbelievable and yet no one fence stands out. Problems right the way around and as you can see tricky weather conditions for our competitors as well. It is though the 2010 winner, Australians Paul Tapner with Kilronan who stands at the head of affairs. He was second after dressage. He added some 20 or so time penalties to his score to hold the lead overnight here at badminton. fantastic day I mean what an amazing day for the sport like just for Tim Price to come from 41st into second it means that virtually everybody in the field starting today had a chance of being up um, you know in, in the top placings after the cross country which is it's what our sports all about just awesome some people didn't have such a good day you had a great round tell me a bit about it yeah, no, I'm really lucky, of course. I'm uh, in the leading position at the moment, so that means I've had a good day, but you know, there's plenty of people back in the stables licking their wounds. But, um, you know, I had an awesome ride. I had a game plan that I stuck to. Things didn't go necessarily 100% to plan, three quarters of a round, so I had a slight change of plan, but that was all part of the ifs and maybes because I always say our sport is one of the sport of a million and one variables and really glad today that I coped with all of them and my horse coped with all of the questions and uh, we had an awesome day. So Paul now has the long night before the horse inspection and of course coming in last to the arena to jump Kelvin Bywater's course tomorrow in the show jumping. We're going to have all the show jumping for you on FEI TV. We start the first session no earlier than 11.25 and then the top horse and rider combinations come forward from 14.45 onwards and those times are local here in Great Britain. Join us for the show jumping finale to this FEI Classics event, the Mitsubishi Motors Babington Horse Trials, all this weekend on FEI TV. Thank <laughs> you.